Now, Saturday, December 5th, I think. Uh, back up here at the farm, picked up the other kits for the last two cylinders on this loader, and uh, brought some oil pads up. This thing's still dripping oil on this bucket where I had that blowout. So, gotta do that. I was gonna fix my fan, but I left my electrical connector kit sitting on the garage floor because I've been working on the Jeep. And got a new tractor just bought. John Deere 5075E 2020 model. Got 1.6 hours on it. Cabin air set up for a loader. It's got the control valve in place already. <clears throat> it's over there. Got that new tractor smell on the inside. Still has the cardboard on the floor. Now, normally I just buy a used cabin air. This will be specifically to pull this uh, MX-8 tow behind mower. Pretty much nothing else. And I got my little 1250 over there for the six foot. And I got this loading tractor now. So, I did not get a four wheel drive. I did not get a loader on this tractor. I already have a loader. This will be pretty much dedicated to mowing only and nothing else. Might pull a disc. This is the third new tractor I bought in my life. I'm damn near 60. It was the first time I felt comfortable buying a new John Deere because of the price point. But I spent three weeks on the internet looking at used John Deere cab tractors. I'm kind of partial to John Deere. I was looking at used tractors, two wheel drive, 25, 30 years old, cabin air, relatively low hours, 20,000, 24,000, 26,000. This one's 75 horsepower. I was looking for a 55 horsepower. Difference in price between a new 55 horsepower, that'd be a 50 55, and a 50 75 was under three grand. So I bought the 75 horsepower. This thing was about the same price or less than most of the 75 horsepower John Deere's I was looking at. I'm gonna say that again. This brand spanking new tractor was several thousand less than our two or three year old 75 horsepower John Deere with cab and air. Uh, it tells me a few things. First off, John Deere, once he's 2020, is gone because the 2021s are already out. Second thing it tells me, they're trying to move tractors, keep their people busy at the factories. This thing was assembled in America. Got a lot of non-American components like anything else you buy, but at least it was assembled here. <sighs> got a radio in it. And the cab has AC and heat, of course. Uh, this does not take DEF, but it does go into regeneration mode. Pretty damn nice tractor, let me tell you. What shocked me, it's less than the used ones I was looking at. You open the hood with one finger. There's your particulate can that does the regen. Fairly easy access. It is computerized. And so this is laptop required, dealer only service because they won't give up the codes to anybody. But for me, this is gonna be a 25 to 35 hour a year tractor. All I gotta do is mow 25 acres, maybe 30 acres, up to four times a year. Maybe five if I like it. I already tried to hook my mower up to it, but my little handle, it hooks right onto it. I only got a single rear remote. That's all I need. I want more. I'm sure John Deere add them to it. And it is a sweet tractor, I'm telling you. Nicest tractor I ever owned. LED lights, of course. But it's a pretty one. Under 33 grand, brand 
new. It's got 1.6 hours on it. I just don't get no nicer for me. Anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.